Our next guest recently starred as Chris Tarrant in the ITV show Quiz, which reenacted the famous Who Wants to Be a Millionaire coughing scandal. Well, now he's playing someone a lot closer to home, himself. <laughs> uh, he's reunited with uh, real life mate David Tennant and put together a special series for the lockdown. Yeah, very mm -hmm. good, very good. Great use of the lockdown. Isn't and it? joins us now. How lovely to see you. That's a magnificent beard you've got going on there. <laughs> Thank you very much. As you can tell, I've been in lockdown now for coming up to four years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joining you live from the set. Of I know. Stage. Yes. That sort of threw me then. I was like, is that from the. And then, oh, no, no, you actually are here. Um, so just explain where the idea came from and what it's all about so we can, we can understand it a bit more. Well, David Tennant has a lot of dirt on me, so he forced me into joining him in doing this. He essentially said that um, the director and the producer of stage came to him with the idea and said, um, and, and can you call Michael to see if he'll be in it as well? So it's a bit like the show, because that's what happens in the show. So it's essentially art imitating life. Yeah. Well, you, um, it, thankfully, it is art imitating life, but you're not quite as paranoid as the as your character or I say as you uh, because um, you know you're you are not thinking that you are um, Alfred Hitchcock you are not putting your wine bottles into your neighbor's recycling bin um, so that no one knows <laughs> how much you've been drinking or have you <laughs> well all I can tell you is that just before I came live on air I have been chasing a mouse around this kitchen <laughs> So I'm hoping that it's a real mouse and it's not just a figment of my imagination. <laughs> completely locked down crazy. Yeah, and I have been oh, it really is around. imitating reality. So who knows? I mean, it's not that far from real life what goes on in this show, to be honest. Mm. And so each of the episodes, am I right in saying they're, they're 15 minutes each? Yeah. But I imagine you would have to film a whole lot more to that. Oh, yes. If you get me and David in front of a camera, you're not going to get 15 minutes worth. There's like days worth of footage. We just couldn't stop. So there's a lot, like there's a sort of a competitive element to the relationship in this show, um, far more competitive than we are in real life. Um, and so there are certain bits, even though it's scripted, there are certain moments where we sort of improvise around bits. And when we get to the more argumentative, competitive bits, they tend to ramp up very quickly. So there was at one point where a lot of it can't be used because I just laugh so much. At one point where David Tennant screamed, you are a cut price Mike Yarwood at me. <laughs> and I just collapsed on the floor in laughter. And so we couldn't use that. <laughs> so Simon Evans is the director. Um, I'm assuming that uh, obviously someone's got to chop it together. Uh, is, it, is it him that edits the thing? No, it's a lovely man called Dan, Dan the editor. Uh, he doesn't have a surname, <laughs> he's just known as Dan the editor. Uh, and he gets he gets sent everything. So in between takes, this is how technologically fluent I am. So the, the laptop that I'm speaking to you on now films me somehow. Someone put something in it that films me. I don't know. How. There's little people inside it that like film. And then I use my phone to record the sound. And in between each take, I then have to email Simon the sound take so that he, you know, he's on top of it. And then he sends them to the to the editor. Now for the first day of filming. Someone else called Simon in my phone, got all the sound tape. <laughs> because I just sent them to, he kept saying, no, they haven't come through yet, not yet. And I was like, what is it? And then I realised I must have sent them to another Simon. And on did my the phone. other Simon ever say anything to you? No, so clearly not a fan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's it like filming from home? Because normally, obviously, you're on sets, on locations all over the place, but to actually be no. filming in your house. It's very odd. I mean, I, you know, like you said, I'm sitting here where I filmed everything. David, when, when you see the episodes, every single scene, David is in another bit of his house. So you see the entire house. I only live in this little square. I don't move out of this square. Um, I, but it's lovely. You don't have to do hair and makeup, although I do miss dearly all the hair and makeup people. And it's, you know, it's not, it's not as much fun being uh, on your own and not around people. But it is nice to just... I mean, I'm basically wearing what I slept in the night before when I'm filming <laughs> a lot of the time. I, I, have, I never have trousers on. Oh, really? <laughs> well, don't stand up then. Yes. So, um, so uh, your part, Anna, is in it. David's wife, Georgina, is, is in it. You've got Georgia. your new baby, um, Lyra, but, yes. um, but it, it sounds to me, just sort of reading the, the way it's all gone, it, it, it was tricky with sound with Lyra. Yes, there are most of the work that the editor had to do was to try and salvage any uh, dialogue between me and David that didn't have Lyra crying in the background. At some point. 
So she just wanted to get on camera. So we didn't we didn't want her to be on camera, obviously, but you can hear her quite a bit. She makes her presence felt. And the, the hardest bits were where there are scenes where uh, myself and Anna and David and Georgia are in the same, you know, are all talking at the same time. And that was the tricky bit because we had to have Lyra just off camera and trying to kind of amuse her and entertain her enough to keep her quiet just to get one take, which was a bit tricky. Um, but she, because uh, she just wants to get in on the action, I think most of the oh, time. Oh, bless but, her. But you know, Georgia and, then... and Dave got about twenty kids, so I don't know why we were complaining. Uh, uh, <laughs> there, it's not just you two in it though, as well. There, you've got some guest appearances. We have indeed. We have uh, the wonderful Nina Sasonia, who um, I think David has done every job he's ever done with <laughs> Nina. She did a lot of things, and I did Henry V with her, like about. 25 years ago now or something oh, wow. um, and she's wonderful in it she plays our producer and is very very funny um, and then we have some very surprise guest stars that we have not announced that when people watch it they will be uh, I, I believe delighted by a couple of people who drop in lockdown has um, caused absolute chaos carnage and a lot of heartache in the entertainment industry obviously everywhere mm. else but uh, within theatres. Um, I suppose for you guys, you have to be innovative. You have to think up new ideas ju just to keep working. Yeah, and, you know, inevitably, you know, any crisis sort of exacerbates what inequalities there may be. And the acting profession is, you know, uh, full of those inequalities as well. You know, it's the same group of people who get most of the work. And I'm not, you know, I'm not under any illusions that the fact that I and David have been able to do a TV series under lockdown is an immense privilege. And, you know, not everyone has that opportunity. So we've got to try and find ways for, you know, as many actors as possible to get involved in stuff. And it's going to be tough because, you know, theatre is going to be, it's going to be difficult to get that going again. But it is going to have to be innovative. Yes, people are going to have to come up with and already are I think coming up with different ways to to get the get stories told you know that when quiz was on that was sort of amazing to see how much people were desperate to watch something yeah. and it was like the old days when everyone watched the same thing yeah, wasn't at it the just... same time yeah. remember those days yeah it yeah absolutely sure. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. well yeah. staged is what we're talking about and it's tomorrow night at 10 45 on BBC one and it's lovely to speak to you thank you for joining us today and you I'm off to find my mouse again now. yes, yes good, luck. good luck with your mouse, mouse wrangling hunt. see you later yeah.